welcome to ATV News. My name is Shala Malawson. Starting with soccer, our sports expert Jason Gallagher is here to give us his analysis and predictions of the Euro 2012 quarterfinals. Over to you, Jason. What do you think of Portugal's victory over the Czech Republic last night? We all expected Portugal to win. I'm only surprised it didn't score more. Ronaldo's turning into the player of the tournament and Portugal are now being tipped for glory. There's only one winner for me and that's Germany. They're just too strong with too many world class players. Greece will not be able to handle their attack. I'm going for a result of 4-0 with Gomez to get a couple. Two teams with a great history and record at these championships. Both are out of form but I expect Spain to win this 2-1. They will have the majority of possession and will dominate the midfield. It's up to whichever striker that plays to have the match of his life. It's a very tough call to predict a winner here. Both teams aren't playing the best football. There will be a battle in midfield for possession, but I think it will be up to the strikers to really decide the game. I'm not convinced Wayne Rooney can match the sort of performances he has with Manchester United, but I think England will win this. I'm guessing 2-1 again. In a suspected case of witchcraft, a family in Chipinge fled from their home following attacks by unseen assailants. Jairo Saunyama spoke to the villagers in the district about the story. In a bizarre incident that has left villagers in Chipinge shell-shocked, a family abandoned its home following a series of mysterious attacks from unseen assailants. The Mahluye family relocated to Bindura after their hearts were mysteriously gutted down by fire. ATV visited the homestead where neighbors spoke about the incident. A village chief said the troubled family tried in vain to evade the attacks and ended up abandoning their home. Some villagers say the attack started after the family was embroiled in a land dispute with another relative. The chief said this incident is the first of its kind in the area. Cases of witchcraft are on the increase in Zimbabwe. Three years ago, the government repealed the Colonial Witchcraft Act, making witchcraft a criminal offense punishable by a fine or a five-year jail term. Reporting for ATV in Chipinge, Zimbabwe. For the past seven years, a Marundera woman has been caring for underprivileged people at her home without any assistance. Jairo Saunyama brings us her story. A 36-year-old Marundera woman is struggling to look after 15 people with physical disabilities following the death of her project partner. For the past seven years, Juliet Mutapuriwa has been caring for these underprivileged people without any financial assistance. ATV caught up with Juliet who spoke about her work and the challenges she faces. Uh, Juliet also receives assistance from her husband to care for the disadvantaged. 
tinronoti amai mwana onere shogujika newana sando maros ma mabando bata bana pamba the couple pushes disabled children in wheelchairs for about one and a half kilometers to get to school. Isusu tuno batera wana kuenda kuchikoro. Even though na uti pati ipati basa rangu. Asindu na interupa pesto wawo. Pati pandofa ma almost one and a half kilometers pa nechikoro. Pati yosu na damu tori uti we are now getting into cold season. Of which it's a wati wa bate safe ina washe kwa nisi. Wanto zina wama nine ten boza tana transport. Neighbors praise the couple for the work they are doing. Ndaurumiza basa tunetu kwa niwa nupena hapa mai na baba mtapuriwa Luku chengeta wano wakari maro wano chengeta Kwa zi, it's not easy kuchengeta wano wadaro Reporting for ATV in Marondera, Zimbabwe Widows of late musicians who have been struggling with their finances will soon benefit from fundraising shows being held in their honor Chris Pintabura gives us the story Three prominent Ulawi musicians are performing live shows to raise funds for the upkeep of widows of late musicians. In an interview with ATV recently, during one of their benefit shows in Mavutweni, the musician spoke about the reasons behind the fundraising initiatives. In the chamber, in the boy Kuma, the last meeting, every corner they asked council, I said that, then I suggest what we do something for the legends, those legends, you see. They are born at Gulama Wolf, it is. Banama Witus, Vas, Namama Pila, Magnetis, Ravana, Amawitu, Ako, Lati Wunji, Sabatanja, Bofana, and Tubo system, Tazuita, Bogaman, one of our foot, Tilis Pila, Vas, Wus, with that wise and Magnetis, and Magnetis. So as you could test the Tama Protas and Pagatla, says the Amasos, that would choose a Patama to a which is good, Bambe, and Miss Pazatun Gai Moyo. ATV captured the musicians during a live performance. The musicians thrilled the fans at the Mavu 20 show who had gathered for the good cause. It is hoped that this gesture by the loyal musicians can be repeated in other cities so that families of the late musicians can lead decent lives. Reporting for ATV, I'm Chris Ventabra in Ulawayo, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.